Welcome to the High End Munich 2023. Next to me is Niels Burema, really Dutch name, uh, from uh, Hypex. And we have uh, some very nice new mo uh, modules uh, next to us. A lot of our readers were asking about Nilai and uh, uh, Encore X. Uh, you can tell me more about that. I can indeed a bit more. Uh, I'm not a technician purely, but uh, I do know enough at least to, to tell you what the differences are. Yeah, we talked to the technician, but he wouldn't come. Uh, <laughs> he wouldn't sit in your chair. <laughs> he was a bit camera shy. But um, I think it's important to start with the differences between Nilai and Encorex because that's one of the most questions we get. Yes, exactly, and that's indeed a good question. We get that a lot from customers as well. So, what have we done with Encorex? What have we done with Nilai? And indeed. Uh, uh, yeah, technically, what are the differences? Anchor X is really just um, an improvement on Anchor. Um, we see it as just, yeah, we relearn every year, so we know what we could improve. So the core technology is relatively the same. We could improve the loop gain, so we have better performance. We have better THD, everything has been improved. Uh, part, uh, part of the improvement we have chosen to put into the heat dissipation part as well. So you have best of both the worlds. The cooler module, which sounds better. So it runs cooler? Yes, exactly. It uh, runs cooler, yes. It has a lower idle current already. So in idle it stays cooler. So the efficiency is improved. Th that's a big uh, advantage for play dams. Uh, every application. We do pro audio, we do hi-fi. Yeah especially Pro Audio, even we even go up more up in power, which we're going to do with Anchor X as well. Uh, that's the biggest advantage, yes. Um, so, sort of a uh, Encore uh, 2.0, uh, if, if, uh, yeah, if we have to summarize it. Then, of course, well, a lot of our viewers, I think, already know uh, what we think about Nilai. This is actually a complete new design. Yes, yes. It's still a self-oscillating amplifier. Yeah. So the topology of class D, because you have a few topologies to choose from, is still the same. Uh, and actually in the core, it still falls under the same end core patents, because it's, that's still the same core. Ah. But actually how we have implemented it and the feedback loop which we have chosen for the end core, for the Nilai, is completely different. That's in exactly where we, where we have made the change, where we could extremely improve the loop gain and extremely uh, upgraded the performance. Yeah. Can, you, can you go a little bit deeper on wh what, what you did? Um, our engineer indeed, which is camera shy, most of the engineers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what we noticed, yeah. Well, just in, in simple terms, because not, not everyone is a technician, but in simple terms, how did you improve the loop gain? Um, I think uh, it, in, in general, it is the amount of uh, feedback you apply to it. Uh, with UCD, there was just already, which is the, basically the baseline technology from us, uh, there's basically one loop. Yeah. Uh, with Encore, that's an improved loop. Yeah. With Encore X, I think we have done another loop uh, around that. Yeah. And with Nilai, it's, I think it's a, a three-layer loop in general, to, yeah. Yeah. to speak in, in, uh, yeah, in layman terms yeah. um, and not go too deep. Well, it's good enough. Yeah, yeah. And what we have chosen as well, because you need to cut the high frequencies off a bit. With class D, of course, you cannot do unlimited bandwidth. Um, what we have done with, for example, with Encore, it's a second order loop, uh, a second order filter. Yeah. And at 20 kilohertz with Encore, there's already, um, I think, a minus between two dB, something two like two that. Three, yes, yes yeah. exactly. Yeah. With Encore X, we have chosen actually, um, no, with Encore, it's a first order. With Encore X, we actually chosen a second order. So a steeper downward path. So that's better frequency bandwidth? Yeah, it's so the, the, the 20 kilohertz is only at minus one yeah, uh, dB, but it cuts off sooner. Yeah. So that's what we could do with Anchor X. But with Nilai, we have so much improvements. We could still choose a first order uh, roll off filter. So it's, uh, I think the minus three dB points is, is around 80. Uh, that's actually true. We, we, we measured Nilai as well, and it's yeah. it's pretty straight for a class D. It's kilohertz is straight. Yeah. Just after 20 kilohertz, it starts rolling off. Yeah. But with a first order filter, it's yeah rolls off gradually. Yeah. So it, the minus three dB point, it's around 80 kilohertz. So that's uh, that's a really big improvement you hear. 
Yeah, yeah, you definitely hear differences between Encore and uh, and Eli. So th this is your uh, amplifier module. You have a stereo version. You have mono amps. Uh, you have a preamp. Uh, are there any th thoughts about what's going to be next? I mean, people want this in a plate amp, of course. Yes, um, we understand that. The basically uh, our um, intention with the two new technologies is with Encore X. We, uh, we already have a really nice technology, but the intention is still to be competitive in pricing. Yeah. So production-wise, bomb costing, it needs to be uh, a well-produced product for the uh, right price, exactly. Because we aim for manufacturers that want to implement that. Neelite technology is the new flagship technology. And we want to uh, not uh, be needing to make compromise on bomb cost with Neelai. So we will also OEM products from with Neelite technology. They will come out yeah. when we don't know yet. And what it will be, we don't know yet. When you're ready. <laughs> well, but also because we have unlimited amount of choices with Neelite, where we want to go to, which directions we want to take. But one direction we want to take, at least, is no compromise designs. But that will not benefit, benefit the bomb cost. So, um, but the plate amplifiers will be upgraded with Anchor X. So that will already be a really big improvement. It will uh, save the heat dissipation as well for the active speaker designs. We actually already implemented FIR filters in our plate amps, by the way. Oh, nice. Tuesday this week, yeah, so yeah. Oh, okay. really recent upgrade. Yeah. Uh, so that's what a lot of customers are asking for as well. Um, so that's already implemented and in the next two years we will have the plate amplifiers upgraded with Anchor X. Yeah. That's an exciting announcement. Um, uh, thank you for your time. It's a busy day today. It's a consumer day. Uh, I hope you have a nice fair. Thanks. Thank you.